Okay, so hey guys, so today I decided to do another um, voiceover get ready with me for you guys. I'm showing you how I got this look right here. It's very summery and I really love it with this bright red, bright red, bright orange lip. I love this lip color, so now I'm going to jump in how I got this look. Okay, so hey guys, um, so we have to get ready for the day, so I'm going to be Priming with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Stila One Step Corrector. I know that was a really weird voice, so please forgive me, but we have to get ready to go out and see one of my friends to go see Captain America. So I'm just doing my priming steps first, starting with a fresh face. See how glamorous I look. <laughs> so we're just going to be working that into our skin with the Smashbox Primer Water. I really love this combination. This is like my holy grail combination. This Stila One Step Corrector is my holy grail, and I love it so much. So we're just going to work that into the face, and then we're going to move on. So now we're going to be going in with our foundation, and we're going to be using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation in the color Shell, the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10, and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. So we're going to give our foundation a good shake, and then spritz it on the back of our hand, and then shake up the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops and mix that with the foundation along with the Kevin Aquan Illuminator. Um, I've been obsessed with the foundation. I've been saying I've been wearing it nonstop. I love it so much. I think I might have to say this might be my holy grail next to my Giorgio Armani. I mean, I actually think it might even beat the YSL Touche Clot Foundation. Like, that's how much I love it. Um, and also, I kind of messed up the name of it in my last get ready with me it's called the candle glow soft luminous foundation not the candlelight glow so sorry about that now i'm just going to be buffing it in with a beauty blender and you guys know i like beauty blenders more than um foundation brushes because it gives a nice airbrushed flawless finish and you're pressing the foundation into the skin rather than rubbing it around i don't know i just i love beauty blenders so much so now we are done buffing in the foundation. Now we're going to be going in with concealing and highlighting. We're going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. My favorite concealer ever and the MAC Ribbon Primate Radiant Rose. Um, I would have to say probably the MAC Pro Longwear is my second favorite foundation ever. So now we're just going to be highlighting the center of the face and concealing. I'm going to be trying to talk a little bit softer because my mom is sleeping now and it's like 2.30 in the morning when I'm recording this. So, And then we're just going to be going in with the MAC Pep and Prime. It's always such a struggle for me to open this. As you can see, I'm like <laughs> trying really hard. <laughs> um, but it's just hard to open with one hand. So um, I had to use two hands and we're just going to highlight the center of the face. I know I keep on holding up the mirror really close to my face but I can never see what I'm doing because the lighting in my bathroom is terrible um, but I usually adjust the brightness on the video to make it brighter for you guys to see what I'm actually doing so now I'm just going to be buffing that in with the opposite side of the beauty blender um, but I love this concealer it's just it's so high coverage but it's so like it makes everything so brightening on the face and it's just so lightweight it's the best concealer everybody hyped it up for a reason so now we are done with that and we're just going to be priming the eyes with the smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer this is my other favorite holy grail primer besides the mac prep and prime and then we're just going to be setting the eyes with the mac merely skin finish natural in the shade medium and the with this real techniques setting brush you know the drill i showed this in my last um getting ready video so i think we're just going to be skipping over that really quickly la 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 <laughs> i'm like my voice is tired like i don't feel like talking right now but it makes me happy doing these kind of voiceovers so now we're going to be going in with our eyeshadow we're going to be using the many mua makeup geek palette for just a second we're going to be going in with my favorite transition shade ever which is makeup geeks peaches and cream and a mac crease brush the reason why I use it out of this palette is because I used up my second pan of it recently but I got it in the palette so I decided to not repurchase it and just use it out of the palette because why do I need to repurchase it again when I have it in the palette. So now we are done doing that and now we are going to go in with my other holy grail uh, crease 
eyeshadow. I could not say eyeshadow for a second. I was going to be like, holy grail foundation. <laughs> With Makeup Geeks Creme Brulee, as you could see, I have hit major pan on it. I am trying to use it up, but I am so happy I hit pan on it. It's like the third or fourth eyeshadow I've hit pan on this year, so that's pretty good. So we're just going to buff that back and forth in the crease. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I can never see what I'm doing, so I have to make sure that um, I can at least blend it a little bit better so now we are done with that so we're going to be going in with our shade to define the crease more we're going to be using Makeup Geeks Frappe I did say I was using my Makeup Geek shadows today right <laughs> I don't know if I did but mostly I use Makeup Geek shadows like every time I go out I don't know I just there's just such amazing crease shades and they are so easy to work with so I just love using them for when I go out. I do use other palettes though every day for work and stuff like that because I use my Mako Geek shadows like so often. So now we're just going to be buffing it in the crease with the Real Techniques uh, tapered blending brush and now we're going to be going in with Coco Bear which is also from Makeup Geek in that same brush and we're going to be putting that on our outer corners. This is another one of my Holy Grail eyeshadows. It's just a beautiful eyeshadow. It I used it so much this past fall. It was like my go-to shade like for any fall look that I wanted to like warm up and just make it, you know, really fallish looking with like warm browns and warm red tones. It's just so gorgeous. It has like a little bit of orange in it too. It's just amazing. I love it. So now we're going in with our lid shade. We're going to be using the Where the Light Is Quad from Kathleen Lights. And we're going to be going in with the shade Kathleen Lights if I can get it out. There we go. This is my Holy Grail lid eyeshadow. So I'm using a lot of my Holy Grail eyeshadows today. But this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow for the lid. Do you see that? Do you see how beautiful that is? That's why it's my favorite. This is like probably the creamiest um. Colourpop eyeshadow I own. I don't know what it is about it. It just feels like silk when you dip your finger in and obviously I'm going to be applying it with my fingers because you guys know Colourpop eyeshadows are best applied with the fingers. So now we were done with that and I just had to admire it for a second because it's so gorgeous. I'm like, I love it. <laughs> so now we're going in with the brow bone highlight and we're just going to be taking the usual vanilla bean, I mean, duh, and Mirage, both by Makeup Geek. I actually really have been enjoying Mirage as well. It's a really pretty shade. It's a very popular one from Makeup Geek too. So I finally decided to pick that up a couple of months ago. And I've been using it a lot. I like mixing it with Vanilla Bean. But I am also trying to hit pan on Vanilla Bean as well. But it is my favorite brow bone highlight like I said in the last video. So we're just going to be popping that on the brow bone with the crown concealer brush. And then we're going to be blending it with the crease with the same MAC brush that we were using before. And we're just going to be blending it together. And then I decided to line my eyes and I used the Stila Sale Day Eyeliner in the shade Black like usual. But you guys know I suck at eyeliner so I lined it off the camera and then cleaned up the under eye from the excess eyeshadow that we had underneath. Now we're just going to be concealing again. I could not show it to you to save my life. I don't know why. With the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. So we're just going to be putting that underneath the eyes, bringing it down a little bit on the sides of the nose as well. Because sometimes when I wipe away the um, eyeshadow underneath, it kind of like wipes away some of the concealer on the nose too. And then we're just going to be highlighting with the MAC Prep and Primate Radiant Rose. I decided to open it off camera, but I also think I had some derpy moments where I kept on like showing things that weren't ready yet or like I couldn't find a certain thing to show. I don't know, I'm a spaz. And now we're just going to be buffing that in with the Beauty Blender with the tapered side like usual. And I think I'm pretty sure I skip over this pretty soon, but just make sure you look up when you do your concealer and really press it into the skin. Don't rub it around. Duh. <laughs> now we're just going to be setting it down using what else? The Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder because... I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I use it every day of my life and the Real Techniques setting brush again. I don't know what it is about this powder. It's just amazing and I think I just used a little bit too much and sometimes it makes me sneeze if I put too much powder on the brush. I actually got it up my nose the first time I used it because this was a new um, replacement of this because I used up an entire one like a couple weeks ago. And I accidentally got it up my nose because I didn't realize how much powder was actually in it because it was a new one. So now we're going to be 
putting on mascara and we're using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara again. I don't know, I just felt like using it again today. I didn't really go with super dramatic mascara the past two days, probably because I didn't line the lower lash line. I don't know, I'm waiting for this ColourPop eyeliner from, as I'm coughing, from um, ColourPop to use on my waterline again. So I'm just waiting for that in the mail before I actually line my waterline. But it's not just because of that, but also just because... I, don't, I think a black looks too harsh sometimes if I'm not really, like, going out and, like, wearing something nice or, like, any, I mean, I still wear it, but I don't wear it when I'm, like, wearing, like, a more casual shirt, you know? I don't know. I'm weird. Then I'm just going to be smudging Makeup Geese Creme Brulee on the lower lash line again, if you could actually see what I'm doing, because I always hold the mirror up too close to my face. But I'm using um, the MAC brush to smudge it on my lower lash line, and now we are done with that. And now we're going to be highlighting the inner corners with the same MAC brush. And we're going to be going in with this other Z palette full of Makeup Geek shadows, my foiled shadows, and dual chrome shadows. And we're going to be using the shade um, in the spotlight, the foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. And we're going to be popping that on the inner corners. This is one of my favorite eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. It's so beautiful. This is like my holy grail foiled eyeshadow besides like starry eyed. It's so gorgeous. And now we're just going to be setting the face with the MAC Marley Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And the Equal Tools Powder Brush, I had like a piece of hair on it and I'm coughing again. <laughs> Don't mind me. And we're just going to be buffing that into the skin very lightly. Again, I have dry skin, so you don't want to put too much on. That's why I always work really quickly with it because you really don't need a lot. You just do it to make your contour and your blush lay perfectly and make sure it blends beautifully. So we're going to be using the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit today and we're going to be going in with the shade Medium Cocoa and we're going to be using that Bare Minerals Angled Brush which I love and we're just going to be contouring the cheekbones with that. I love this contour kit. It's amazing. I have recently fallen back, fallen back in love with it because I hadn't used it for a while and then I went back to using it for like the past like two weeks and I just love it. It's so beautiful. The powders blend amazingly. The cocoa formula from Too Faced is amazing. Anything that's chocolate bar from them is just amazeballs. And now we're just going to be cleaning up the contour with a Real Techniques setting brush in that shade Light Cocoa which is the lightest shade in the palette. This is one of this is this shade is so beautiful and it's such a super smooth powder that it really brightens underneath the cheekbones. I love it. And then we're going to be going in with medium cocoa again and we're going to be contouring the temples and around the hairline. I don't know what I was saying there. <laughs> I, I really don't know. That, that was kind of weird. I'm like, why am I moving my mouth? <laughs> but I'm going to be contouring the rest of the hairline and then I'm going to be doing the lower lash and lower lash line the jawline, my god, I'm tired. <laughs> so we're going to be um, just doing that, and then we're just going to bring it down on the neck just to blend it a little bit. I know I look like a spaz when I do it. And now we're going to be going in with our blush. We're going to be using the Becca Cosmetics Soft Luminous Blush in the shade Tiger Lily as I'm like dropping my blush brush, which is the Eco Tools uh, Tapered Brush tapered blush brush. I can't say blush brush ever. And we're just going to be popping that on the cheeks. I've been using these blushes a lot. They're really beautiful and I think I almost dropped my mirror. <laughs> I am such a spaz if you didn't know. Um, but we're just going to be popping that on the cheekbones. I just really have been enjoying these blushes. They just add such a beautiful glow to your cheeks. I love it. And then we're going to be going in with my Holy Grail highlighter today, which is Becca Cosmetics Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, which is Jaclyn Hill's uh, highlighter, which is absolutely amazingly, gorgeously beautiful. And we're going to be using the Anastasia A23, br A23 brush to highlight. I was about to say blush. Sorry. And this is my favorite highlighter of all time. I know you won't be able to see the beauty of it when I'm doing it, but Becca Cosmetics highlighters are the most amazing highlighters ever. If you don't own them, go buy them. I'm so serious. They're like so worth the investment. They are, you will not be able to stop using them. I always go back to this highlighter. I use it like every week at least once. I love it so much and then I miss it when I don't use it. I'm just like, you're amazingly beautiful. And then Opal is my other holy grail. It's amazing. 
So once we're done highlighting, we're just going to be blending our highlight, our blush, and everything together with the Hourglass Ethereal Light Powder and the Equal Tools Powder Brush again. I love this brush as well. It's so super soft. If you guys don't know what Equal Tools brushes is or you never use them, they're an amazing brand. Their, their brushes are so soft. I love them. And now we're just going to be setting the face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Duh. Like usual, as I look like a spaz when I do it. And I love the Hourglass powders. They're amazing and really make everything come together. Now we're going to be going in with our lips. And we're going to be using the Bite Beauty Lip Primer, like usual, to prime the lips. As I'm holding my mirror up and you can't see what I'm doing again. <laughs> Sorry about that. And then we're going to be going in and lining the lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Fancy. It's a really pretty shade. It's like this really gorgeous like medium orange shade. And the one thing about ColourPop lip liners that I really appreciate is that they have such a wide range of lip, uh, lip liners. Like honestly, I really couldn't find anything from um, Urban Decay or I think MAC when I decided to buy like an orangey um lip liner they were all like way too bright orange this is like a really pretty like medium toned orange and it works like a lot better for something that's not like a bright orange so I really like that and then I decided to um fill in my brows off camera with the Chanel brow pencil and the Anastasia clear brow gel and now we're we'll going we're going to be going in with our lip color which is the Ofra liquid lipstick caffeine lights collaboration shade in the shade Miami Fever. This shade is so beautiful. I really like it a lot and the Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks are really comfortable to wear, especially this one. This is actually only the second time I've worn it and I realize how beautiful this color is for the summertime, but I made it so I would use this color in the summertime more on purpose because it is a perfect summer shade. I know it came out like months ago, but I really am going to be using it a lot this summer. I think it's going to be one of my go-to shades. Um, and then I decided to pop a lip gloss over it. I kind of forgot to do this and forgot to record it almost. But I'm going to be using the NARS Mini Lip Gloss in the shade Orgasm. And this just added such a beautiful like summery glow to my lips. I love the NARS lip glosses. They're beautiful. Um, I originally wasn't going to do it and just because I'm so super into matte lips. Like, I love matte lips, like, so much. And I don't wear gloss too often over them. But I decided to do it today, and it looks so pretty. And I need to do it more often. I, I do it more in the spring and summer than I do in the summer, in the um, fall and winter. Um, but I was torn on what lip color I wanted to use today. I was either going to use a Lime Crime one or this one. But I decided to go with this one, and I really love that I did because I used the Kathleen Light shade on my lids. So that's the eyes, the cheeks, the highlight, and the lips. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, guys. Love it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the look. I really love this lip color. This is, um, well, obviously, I just said what it is in the video, but it is so pretty. It's, like, such a wearable orange color, and I really love it. It looks a little weird on this side. I'm sorry. I'm actually ready to take it off now because I just got back from seeing Captain America, so this is after I recorded the look, but I didn't have time to record an intro and outro when I was recording it, so um, I just had time to record the Get Ready With Me. So yeah, that's it, so please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at CBW819, and my Twitter is PokerFace819, and my Snapchat is PokerFace819, and yeah, that's another shot of the highlight. It's my favorite highlight of all time. And the eyes and the lips, and that's it. Bye!